Okay, so we have a coding exercise. It's called FizzBuzz, and apparently it's a common interview question. Uh, I assume it's like a basic interview question, but nonetheless. So the game goes through the numbers 1 through 100 in a row, and whenever a number is divisible by 3, it'll print out the word fizz. And then if it's divisible by five, it'll print out the word buzz. And if it's divisible by both three and five, then it'll print out this buzz. So let's give that a try. I think we have it. So we have for a number in range one to one hundred and one, because a range function doesn't include all the way to the second number. Um, if number modulo three equals zero, so that it's evenly divisible by three, and if it's evenly divisible by five, then print fizz buzz. If that's not the case, check if it's divisible by three, uh, print fizz. Then if that's not the case, check if it's uh, divisible by five and print buzz. But if that's not the case, just print the number. So let's run it and see what happens. Run. Nice. So here we go. Oh, so, so one, two, fizz, four, buzz, uh, six. Yeah, fizz, seven, eight, fizz. So nine is only divisible by three. Twelve is only divisible by three. And then fifteen is divisible by five and three. Cool. Or the project for day five is a password generator. So we have some starting cord. Uh, some starting code here. We got some variables already set with some letters, numbers, and symbols. And the idea is we ask the user for uh, how many letters they want in their password, how many symbols they want, how many numbers and letters they want. Uh, and then based on that input, we'll grab a randomized selection of those, of those numbers, uh, symbols, and letters. And then that becomes the password. I think that's our code. So let's run that. Four letters, two symbols, two numbers. Bam. BTZX. Let's run it again just to make sure. Let's say we want six letters, uh, three symbols, two numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, one, two. So that was day five of um, 100 days of code with Python. We went over Python loops, uh, specifically the for loop. We didn't go through the while loop. Maybe we will in the future, maybe we won't, I have no idea. And the next day we'll be looking at functions, uh, which I am pretty excited about because that's to the extent of my historical Python knowledge. So uh, I'll see you in that video.